worth long. Okay. Well, I also saw one of them that came down the path. They've been throwing stones and I don't know what it, the sound was, but the sight was dead, so I don't know. Oh, look, they're here. They're here. They're causing a load of trouble. Are they back again? Are they back again? Hello? The rapper Bugsy Malone, whose real name is Aaron Davis, appeared at Manchester Crown Court today, charged with two counts of inflicting grievous bodily harm. This is what I mean, bro. So, what, what, so, okay, cool. This is your video, right? Bob, Bugsy Malone, War Mode, official music video. Okay, I know you're supposed to rap about your life and all that. I know that. But you're supposed, like, I don't, and so everyone just wants to use badness to validate themselves. So if I go out there and tear off someone's face, right? Okay, Bob, but to bring a camera, put it on the internet, bruv, and risk my liberty and freedom, yeah, just to make sure you don't know I'm fully gangster, bro, or I'm that guy. Like, what does it matter if I'm tough, bro? The next tough guy won't think I'm tough. The next person that's his own person won't give me that rating, bro. You can't be the toughest, you can't be the strong. I don't understand. Anyway, let me have a look. The court heard that he punched two strangers and broke their jaws after he wrongly believed that they'd intruded and attacked his home. See, see? All them things make him sound like he's a don. He broke their jaws. Two strangers. Who were the strangers? The ransacker, but Mr. Davis denies the charges. The trial is continuing. War mode, right? So that's the, so you, that's the legit footage for your video. Showing people that you've gone to Crown Court, bruv. So, it says the trial continues. So you did that before the trial's over. Right? With no regard for what the judge is going to think of you putting that in a music video. Like you're trying to glorify badness, bro. This is what I mean, bro. What for? And you big Bugsy Malone. Two million views in four days. What? Bamba clock. But you can't even rap his shit. I don't care what no one says. He's rubbish. I don't care. I'll do what the fuck I want it. Yeah. I don't want some, I don't give a fuck who it belongs to. Yeah. Trackstar, you wanna see the Lizzie that I run through? I'm a rap star now, but I'm a dumb too. DJ, I'm not a driller, but I've left my open. Leaky, terrorist the way I buy my parents. Scream, I brandish in my flicky in the shops. Steaming when I snap, I see red like I'm possessed by a demon. Always been a nigga that can dress. Mm. Rubbing every day, I will finesse. Mm. Never knew when I would see my next. Green colored nightmares had the nigga stress. Now they tell me I'm blessed. Fuck your list into a next. See, loyal for my killings, I will sweat. Please, don't cry for me if it's death. Cry for me if I lose the world to hustle and go get. Please, never that. I'm in the Lamborghini with the roof off the next. Victory like what? Okay. Rubbish, you can't rap. He can't rap. He can't stay on the beat. Give me back. Tonight's in the trap. Watching my older boy nasty in a rap bag. I'm on the corner. But I want to know who's buying and listening to this music that you can get 2,738,791 views. Yeah, okay, nice car. All that shit. All of it's all nice. Yes, it is. Good on you, bruv. You're living that life that everyone wants. Okay, bruv. All of it, mate. But I don't see why you have to put your court case up on the video. What is that saying? That you glorify badness, bro? Like you want to be known as that tough guy, bro? Like, why? Because you're a rapper. You've got to look like you're tough. Or is it because you're a thug and you rap? So you've got to prove that you're a thug. Because you know that people think rappers are weak now. Because it's blatantly two different types of people out here in that music game. But you've got the allowed to be rappers and you've got the allowed to be wolves, blood. Yeah? They, don't, don't you notice on YouTube how, how the people that watch, bro, they have no opinion about when you get robbed. They love it. They love it. They want to see what you do next. So that validates the wolves, blood. Okay? So you got rappers that thought they were tough by saying they were rappers until the wolves, yeah, eat them and do videos and let it be known, yeah, we ate him. What? Now the rapper has been put in a secondary position where, well, bruv, you talk all that shit, so now do your thing. And they don't ever do anything, bro. So when these guys rap all this war mode rubbish, Okay, bruv, I'm asking myself, and showing the footage of Crown Court cases, I'm asking myself, well, um, is he really bad? Now, when I tell you, yeah, that when I catch one of these trolls, yeah, I'm going to smack him up, bruv, because that's how I'm bad, man. 
because I'm a bad man, bro. I don't care where it takes me. You see the difference? I don't care where it takes me. I never ask for none of this. This ain't no trying to boost my channel. It ain't none of that, bro. Yeah, I want the world to see what you lot are, even at the cost of my own freedom, bro. Yeah, I want the world to see you scream, bro, even at the cost of my own freedom, because I want people to see that you lot ain't worth shit when you talk all that big shit. That's why I want the big one. UK Dual Knowledge, bro, because he's a big one, right? He's the big one that everyone seems to think has got muscle and he's serious. He's a fucking idiot, bruv. I can tell he's an idiot by the way he talks to me, bruv, when he texts me on the internet, bruv. He's a fucking fool. F on site splashings. I'm going to rap Grace in a Rizloy. You're using my words, bro, to get at me, bro. You're an idiot, bro. You're a fool. Yeah, okay? These guys are wet and you lot validate them, bruv. Just like this song. This song's dead. So the but I can't listen. I, no disrespect, but I can't listen. To, I'm not from. I can't get with the accent. Don't get me wrong. It's English, and I can understand it, but it just don't go good on the beat. The video don't even look good. Like when he's rapping, it's not even with the video, bro. This is why. Like I've never seen this guy do anything great, bro. Apart from show stuff like him and Mist, that's all they do. But they don't, they're not good. All this man, all this that man's got, yeah, because they glorify the roles and the badness, right? Okay, and they rap about it a lot, but you see if you've got one certain, you see if my, I'm not going to call his name, okay, bruv, I've got a brother around me, bruv, that is a stone cold fucking murderer, bruv, has been that for years, rude boy, okay, I can tell you about two things that he's done that you will blatantly know, but I'm not going to call them, bro, because them things there are, are, are they, you get me, and I'm just saying, right, if that brother was to go where he was in that rest restaurant and sit there, only him and them two in there, but they wouldn't ask him. Not, they would just feel the duppy maker aura. Yeah, and that duppy maker aura will make these men, yeah, give up everything they got just from talk, bruv. Yeah, trust me when I tell you that. Yeah, so you can see when a man is not playing. You can see when a man will shut you quicker than he'll talk to you, bruv. Okay, bruv. See, certain people don't realize what badness is. You can't wrap yourself into badness, bro. And you can't put up videos to prove your bad neither, bro. What are you doing it for? You can't be doing it for someone like me, bro. I don't see you that as anything good, man. I see that as like, 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 like. You see, real recognize real, innit, bro. If real don't recognize real without the videos, then all that added extra, bro, to me is pantomime, bro. Grime star broke jaws of two strangers. So what, bruv? Who were they? What were some idiots? Who were they? Let me, let me see. Wait. Given evidence, the family friend said, I briefly turned and the next thing I remember is being hit and down. The first I knew... See, this is what happens, right? Remember this now, yeah? These guys are probably coming some tough guy thing. Okay, wait, let's, let's just read it all. Fuck it. Let's not assume nothing. Fuck it. Jesus Christ. A dad punched by Bugsy Malone during a fracas near the rapper's home told how he instantly knew he'd suffer a broken jaw. The grime artist is appearing in court accused of two counts of greed of bodily harm after he punched two men in Ramsbottom. Berry, he denies the offences. He put a gun there for his white gal, Berry. Berry St. Edmunds, yeah? That's in Suffolk or Norfolk. Prosecutors have said the 30-year-old musician whose real name is Aaron Davies wrongly believed they were intruded and attacked his home. He also accused of kicking one of the men in the head like he was a football. Mr. Davies denies kicking him. The two alleged victims were friends who had been at a world black pudding throwing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So these are some fucking jokes. World black pudding throwing championship in the town with family and some children. These are normally family goers. Yeah, throwing black pudding. Okay, bruv. Not no fuck niggas. Nothing like that. Manchester courts are some of the busiest in the country. Get out of here. Yeah, some of the children who were big fans of Bugsy Malone left the festival after deciding to have a look at his house near Nuttall Park. 
One boy paired off with a fence and shouted his name. The children later ran off after someone came out. A car sped past and was driven at them. Manchester Crown Court has heard. A teenage girl was left terrified and called her parents and her father arrived with a family friend. A father of a boy also attended but became very angry, the court heard. Given evidence, the father of the girl said he, the father of the boy, picked a stone up or brick from the floor and threw it at the gates. And he started shouting. How did you react, prosecutor? McBear Byrne asked. I told him to stop. What are you doing? I wasn't intending to do this. He was going to have a word. So one of them was off-key and one of them wasn't. The man said he wanted to speak with Mr. Davies. Speaking of the boy's father, he proceeded to go to the gate shouting, I'm going to fucking kill him. I told him to stop. Calm down. So one of them is on it and one of them ain't. Okay, cool. Jurors, so his son was said to be hysterical and was crying and very upset. The father of the girl said he decided to follow the other man through the gate to try and persuade him to leave. He said, I just kept saying, you need to get out of the garden. You need to come out. You are trespassing. The, the, the dad said the other man did not respond. So he told the children they had to leave without him. Yeah, I just wanted the children to be safe, to be honest. I wanted to get away from the equation. He said, the man said he then heard a high performance car which was driving pretty fast. He said he jumped out of the way and had to push a child out of the way. It came fast around the corner and it was grabbed by an individual I have never seen before. He said jurors have heard the man was a neighbor of Mr. Davies. He said, he asked me, what have you been doing? What have you done? The witness said, I said, I've done nothing. Right? Asked what happened next. He said, I looked over and I saw Aaron hit the family friend. I saw Aaron jumping about and then he hit him on the face he fell to the floor given evidence the family friend said i briefly turned and the next thing i remember is being hit and down the first i knew i was down on the floor i couldn't get up yeah i'm not sure whether i was knocked out or very close to it i suggest i physically couldn't get off the floor for quite a few minutes i didn't try to get up the father of the girl said Aaron proceeded to walk towards me and then throw a punch and he hit me in the face while i was being held Mrs. Bannon asks, are you able to describe the force of the blow? Very hard, he said. I was stumbling a little bit after that. The man had let go as I was stumbling. Noticed Aaron quick pace walking towards the back of the van and I seen him swing his foot. I heard a connection, but I didn't see how it connected. So they kicking him like a football. It was disgusting. Jurors were told she had described the alleged kick in the statement like, he was kicking a football. Was there anything said by Aaron Davis during this? Mr. Brennan asked her father. No, the man replied. Did you say anything? The prosecutor continued. No, I just said to the guy, stop. I've done nothing wrong, which we hadn't done anything wrong. The man said his friend, friend's face was full of blood. Mr. Brennan asked him, Aaron Davis, do you remember anything more about what he did after this incident? I believe he ran back to his car. When you were punched at that, at that, anyway, look, 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 look. So the man's beat up two people that he didn't know. One was a good guy and one was a fucking donut trying to act hard. They lured him to the canal, stabbed him to death and dumped his body. Then later, they returned to the scene to commit one last disgusting act of disrespect. Madness out here, bro. Man jailed after driving like idiot on a more, on a fucking railway track. Prisoner who tried to blackmail God and threaten family jailed again. So yeah, look, man. If I was a rap, if I was a, a, a guy that, if I was a guy that did did a, a rap magazine, it would be very hard for most of you to get in it, bro. Because I think you're all shit. That's the truth. I think you're all cat, bro. And I just think it's easy money. And I think yeah, if you know. It's a very fortunate time to be a quote-unquote entertainer. It's a very uh, 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 important time, an easy time for anyone that's black that's trying to get through right now. Because you lot are the smoke screen. They're gonna dip. They're gonna dip and and treat us like shit very soon, bruv. Once this pandemic and once all these things tighten up a little bit, bruv, you will see what their plan is, bruv. You will see it, bro. Because that COVID-19 pandemic was no way near as bad as they tried to make it go on. Okay, bro? It was no way near as bad. Okay? Right? But this brother shouldn't be getting caught up in these antics, bro. 
Look, look, he's bad. Look, 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 look. Nobody fucks with him. Tired. You see, this is this is when you know man's turn to the other side, yeah. When they like to call man broke niggas, broke niggas, broke niggas, broke niggas, bro. Until you got guap, bro. You was broke too, bro. Okay. Right, until you, do you get me, bruv? I don't care if you was trapping, bruv. That's temporary riches, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, but when they start calling man broke niggas who they rely upon to do their dirt when they're in trouble, okay, bruv, that's what makes me laugh, bro. Yeah, that's what makes me laugh. You know something, people? Let me give you some advice, right? See, the next time why these guys try to use you, bruv, as, as some big man, yeah, and try to use you, right, yeah, you fucking will rob him. Rob him because he's asking you to do his dirt because he can't fucking do it. Yeah, you're robbing or you're charging big money. Ask him, what is it worth to you, bruv? Especially when they're up against it, a man's threatening their life, bruv, yeah? You use them to get up, bruv. Real talk, don't make them tell you what they're paying you. Fuck that, bro. What's your life worth, bro? Do you know what I mean? What's your life worth, bruv? You say man are coming to kill you, so what's your life worth, bruv? Yeah? You want what? You want like, what? A couple of racks? Well, I'll give you a couple of racks if you don't. Couple of racks, bro. You might be talking... Some big skills. Real talk. Don't be showing me no fucking Ferrari. So your life ain't worth your Ferrari. Give me your car. Yeah. Give me your car. And I'll do what you're talking about. And even that to me, people, is cheap, bruv. For me to go and blacken my soul, my name. Yeah. And kill people and, and maybe go jail for the rest of my life. And furthermore, you know what? I'll, be, I'll tell you the truth, bruv. You see, if you were to stick it on one of these niggas like that, they'll be the one to go to the police. Yeah. And give you up, bruv. They'll give you up, bruv. They'll make you do the dirt. And then they'll fucking well, give you up without you knowing. Trust me, bruv. These guys are limelight niggas now, bruv. They limelight niggas, bro. No matter how much fights they have, no matter how much boxing they have, bruv, they're not giving up this lifestyle. Yeah? And when they do this type of shit, bro, it's a, it's a calculated guess. I'm a celebrity. People will come around me. I've defended myself. But once I get through that route, bro, I've got legit certification that I'm a genius. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. You beat up a man of his daughter. I'm out.